typical Tanil here coming to talk to you today in a little bit of a different video. When I first started my channel, I would do a lot more like talk through videos. So I really wanted to talk about something that people ask me all the time, like on Instagram, in person, all the time. And so the topic of this video is motivation. I have people ask me on a continuous basis, Tanil, how do you stay motivated, you know, to work out, to stay on your fitness goals for anything? And I think that there are some just overarching misconceptions about what motivation means and what that looks like. And so this video is just kind of like a little motivation, but really it's more so to add some clarity to, you know, when you're thinking about achieving a goal and we will keep this in the confines of fitness for the purpose of this channel, but any goal at all, but you know, we'll say fitness goals. When it comes to motivation, there's just a bigger conversation to have about why you're doing what you're doing because that's where the motivation lies. And I think sometimes people get very tied into like the aftermath of whatever the goal is. So for example, to break it down, you know, for me, my motivation stems from the type of lifestyle that I want to lead. I am motivated to achieve my fitness goals and to eat good things and to stay active on a daily basis because there's a certain type of lifestyle that I want to live. Does, you know, you know, the bikini body help? Does it, is that a motor? Sure, sure. Love being in shape. Love that. But I want to be active. I want to be able to go and play with my nieces and nephews. I want to be able to, you know, step up and help my parents out with like physical things that maybe they can or can't do. I want to be able to climb mountains, physical mountains, and do things like go skydiving and travel and be comfortable whenever things are physical. So that's part of my motivation of why I work out. So when I'm going on a daily basis to the gym or making healthy food choices, the motivation is for this lifestyle, for this, this level of happiness and contentment that I'm trying to achieve. It's not really so that I can have a little waist and a fat booty. Like that's not the motivation. Like those are cute little aftermaths, but the motivation is for me to have a certain type of life and a certain type of lifestyle. So I just think when people are thinking about motivation, try to focus on the themes or the real, real reason why you would be doing something that, you, that you're trying to have the motivation to work towards. Because the truth is, you're not going to be motivated to do it every day. And if your reason why is not significant enough, then it's likely that you're not gonna execute the things that you need to do, the small little things that add up on a daily basis, and then you're never gonna hit your, your end goal. So you'll be in this perpetual cycle of setting goals that you're not motivated to achieve because you never took the time to look at what your true reason for doing them is, and you're just gonna continuously have this self-deprecating thoughts of, uh, yeah, I, I could never do that. Oh, I, I've tried to, to get in shape. I've tried to be more active. It's just not for me. When in reality, like the goals that you set were not aligned to what you were actual, what your real true motivation of what you were trying to achieve is. So sometimes you have to take that step back. So another thing that I think is helpful in staying motivated or just on course with whatever your goal is, um, is making sure that you are not innately having activities that would demotivate you, which is kind of like, ah, obviously, but no, let me simplify it. So in order to stay motivated, particularly towards a fitness goal, you need to make sure that you're making SMART goals, which stands for specific, measurable, um, obtainable, relevant, and time bound. So that means you're making goals that are highly targeted and reachable, even if they're stretch goals, um, that you can make sure that you have a measurable way of, of seeing that, that you actually improve. So for example, if someone says, I really, Tenille, I don't care about any of that. I just really want to lose 50 pounds. Okay, so 50 pounds is like the goal, sure. But why do you want to lose 50 pounds? That's that's the motivating factor. If you tell me you want to lose 50 pounds because 
you want to be more active, you don't want to have as much chronic pain, you want to be able to move more fluidly, you don't want to have to worry about um, things that you didn't have to think of, like fitting into certain spaces or so on and so forth, whenever you didn't have the extra 50 pounds, then now we have a motivation behind like the type of lifestyle, the type of quality of life that you want to lead, and that's our motivator. And then we create a smart goal, we create smart goals around the types of systems of things that you need to do to be able to innately reach that. So it's like, bing, how do we know the proven way to have weight loss? It's being active and eating right. So then you create SMART goals, which are again, specific, measurable, obtainable, relevant, and time bound that help you start to change that type of lifestyle. Um, you know, and that might be just making sure you get 30 minutes of activity every day and that at least three to four days out of the week that you're sticking to a certain kind of eating plan. Or every day you're making sure that you have you know, vegetables and like a lean protein with at least two of your meals. Like there are specific things that you can put in place that are super measurable and hyper targeted to your specific situation that will keep you motivated. Worse, whereas if you just say, I just want to lose 50 pounds, it's like we can be very transparent in the fact that that's going to probably take some time. So in order for you to not be demotivated throughout the process, the only way that you're going to get there is consistency. So then your goals need to be relevant in, in, in the sense that they're being measured around how consistent you're being. And then when you're being consistent in those systems, you will eventually see the success that you want. So, and, and when you see the success, it's going to motivate you to keep going. So it's also making sure, you know, when you're talking about the conversation of motivation, it's like, take a look at what you have in place or what's around you that could be innately demotivating you. Another super demotivator is going to be negativity in the form of your own personal negative thoughts, family, friends, coworkers. You know, I think that is one of the biggest demotivators is when you have a goal that you're trying to reach and maybe you already have smart goals in place. You already have measurable systems that you're trying to action against so that you can change your life or reach some specific goal and you have people who you love and care about telling you you can't do it that sucks that's that's a terrible feeling it's not good it's super demotivating and a, the hard part about that is sometimes you gotta remove those people from your life it's the same thing with your friend group you know your co-workers and then your own personal image of self and how you talk to yourself um, passively or actively in your thoughts. If you are telling yourself, if you're making goals and systems and you, you have this motivation and you're ready to go and then as soon as something doesn't go as planned or something goes astray and it's immediately, you're just feeding yourself negative self-talk, negativity, um, all, all these reasons and excuses why you don't deserve it or you're never gonna be able to achieve whatever it is, that is also that's also going to be a main factor in you not reaching your goal because you have to take a second and say, hey, I might have messed up today or this might not have gone the way that I loved, but I still deserve to reach that goal and I'm still fully capable of reaching that goal. I just have to pick myself up right here, right now and keep moving because again, if you're not where you want to be with whatever it is, fitness or otherwise, I promise to God you won't get there any faster by stopping. So you just have to keep moving forward. So when people ask me about motivation, you know, like for context, I'll get inboxes, you know, how do you get up in the morning? Or like, how do you, you know, have the energy to work out during lunch? And it's like, baby, I don't know what I'm putting on this Instagram that's making you think that like, I'm always excited to do it. I am not always excited to do it. Sometimes I want to do whatever, what other people are doing. I just want to sit and eat. Like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to chill, relax. And sometimes I'm like, I just want to get up and be active. Like, I go through ebbs and flows as it pertains to fitness just like everybody else. But at the end of the day, I am motivated. I know what my motivations are, you know, and I know what I am motivated by. And I'm motivated by being able to be active. And like I said earlier in the video, being able to play with my niece and nephew and just challenge myself to do new things and never have to miss out on experiences because 
I haven't been active or I haven't been taking care of myself. To me, I'm a firm believer that health is wealth and you have to invest in yourself in order to see those outcomes. You can't feed your body trash and never work your body out and then expect for your body to to pay you back positively later. If, if you want the results, you have to do the work. And that's just my mentality about it. And it's not even... Um, from the place of a punishment. I know a lot of people think about working out or eating right as a punishment. Um, and I don't think about it like that. It's like, in reality, a lot of people don't have access to good food, clean water, or a gym facility. You know, they don't, that's not even an option for them. So for me, I look at it as a privilege. It's something that I'm able to do and I don't want to take advantage of it. So you just, so the whole point of this whole video, again, is just about staying motivated, making smart goals that you can use to create the systems that are going to keep you on track, eliminate demotivating factors in your life, whether that be your own negative thoughts or ideas, negative friends, friendships or family members, and especially negative coworkers as well, especially negative coworkers, just going and cut them out because it's like, listen, let's be clear. You and I are only interacting because I work here. And so therefore your negativity is unwanted and unwarranted on every level. So sometimes you just have to either completely eradicate people or create boundaries you know, and you have to be present enough to know that those things are, are going on so that you can redirect your energy. So ultimately, I hope this was helpful. You'll be seeing more videos like this. Um, I enjoy doing the talk throughs. There's, my mind is always working. So I'm always thinking about something and I want to be better about sharing that with my channel. Next week will be a workout video. Um, and the week after that will be the last book review. So make sure you stay tuned. If you're on IG, my handle is at typical tenial. I'll list it there down below. Um, and rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys would like to see. Bye.